Spreaker.com proudly sponsors the Song School Show. Make sure to check out Spreaker.com for all your podcasting needs. My name is Susie and welcome to Song School in Klaus Giscon. Um, we are a group uh, for Ockel. Um, this week we have produced our own music um, and lyrics to songs that we've wrote ourselves. So now I'm going to introduce you to our first group, the Golden Girls. Uh, what's your own name? Sinead. Eva. Searsha. Neve. And the first question is, uh, what inspired this song? We thought about what made us happy, and pizza was just the first thing that came into our heads. Very good. And um, second question, uh, what was your experience of making this song? Um, well, we got our melody pretty quickly, but we struggled to write our lyrics. We had fun recording and producing this song, and we really enjoyed the experience. Very good. Um, what is everyone's favourite pizza? Um, margarita. Anything else? Margarita. Uh, the meteor. And yourself? Pepperoni. Very good. Um, how do you see the song progressing in the future? Uh, we've already been approached by a few pizza companies, so we're in talks at the moment with them, so watch this space. Okay. And what was the process of making this song? Well, at first we wanted to write a song about the rain, which then changed to a song about saying goodbye. Then we decided to scrap that, as the theme was too sad and didn't fit with the more upbeat melody. We decided to write about pizza, because it's a much lighter and easier theme. And what would be inspired to write it? And what would you be inspired to write on those songs? This is one of the one-hit wonders. We're fairly confident that no song will ever match what success this track will have. Very good. So that's our first group, the Golden Girls. And now we're going to listen to their song. a long day and I'm feeling kind of hungry gonna sit down gonna fill up my tummy I'm gonna roll up gonna order me some pizza nothing sounds better it's gonna be lethal Wedges too, or the family do. 
we have our second group, the Lit Groovers. So the first question I have for this group is, um, what inspired you to write the song? Um, the inspiration came from our results night and our past experience going out to discos and the ante anticipation and the joy of getting ready that comes with it. Very good. And any collaborations? Um, well, we really wanted to do a collaboration with MM, but unfortunately our schedules didn't align and we weren't able to find time. So we've actually, we've been thinking of trying to get Justin Bieber and DJ Khaled in there, but we don't know yet. And what's next for the Lit Groovers? Um, so we were hoping that Tivoli might uh, sign, uh, uh, sign us and because we were promoting their venue that loads of teenagers around Dublin would attend this disco and it would bring them more um, business and uh, we are hoping to get free tickets because we've been promoting their disco. Very good. And what impact do you hope this song will have on teenagers uh, that attend Tivoli? We hope that they'll be able to jam out before a social and to be able to relate to it and have good crack before they go out on their night out and hope that they'll remember our song for the whole night. Yep. And what did you enjoy about uh, the process? Um, I really enjoyed just working with you know all the little groovers and just having a blast, putting together some interesting lyrics and you know really letting our creative juices flow. And how did you come up with the name of the band? Well, um, we were all sitting there, you know, jotting down our ideas and lines for the song. And then I just, we all see Shanna in the corner just grooving along, doing a little dance move. And I think we all just looked at each other and went, oh, it's the Groovers, you know? It's just kind of, yeah. that kind of vibe. Kind of yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah, that's the Lil Groovers. And now we're going to listen to their song. And so now we're on to our fourth group, the CSCS. So the first question I have for this group is, what was your inspiration? Well, the whole group plays sports, so we thought since we had that in common, we might write about that, and it worked out well. Yeah. Okay. And what did you think of the experience? Um, we thought that we, we learned loads, and we 
learned so many new skills, for example, working and singing as a group. And none of, any, none of us in the group have done anything like this before, so it was a new experience. Yeah. Um, what was your favourite moment? I feel like our favourite moment was when we all when we heard the song put together at the last minute and it was so good and we felt so proud of ourselves. Okay, and what was your favourite part of the song? Um, the chorus, because it has the words feel powerful and it's catchy and we, we believe that if you believe you can accomplish anything. Yeah, and the last question, uh, would you be interested in writing another song in the future? Yeah, we definitely would. It was so much fun and I think we all really enjoyed the experience. Yeah, so that's it for the CSCS and now we're going to listen to their own song. to our last group, uh, Acapella. So the first question I have for this group is what was your inspiration? Well, we were finding it really hard to come up with an idea for the song, so we got everyone in the group to say a word, and Ada said the word curtain. This made us think of shows and performances in a theatre, and that is how we got our chorus. And what did you enjoy most about the process? I think it was fun to see our ideas turn into a real song. It was a really nice new experience. None of us have ever done this before. And I think we all became more confident with singing and recording. 
And what was the hardest part? Uh, the hardest part, I think, was finding a theme that we could stick with. We kept like exploring different themes and then drifting off, so that was probably the hardest part. Yeah. And do you have any more plans for the future? Uh, we have plans to make another song, maybe with help from others. Yeah. And How did you feel after hearing the song? It was really weird hearing our voices when they recorded, but it was really cool. And then we thought it was amazing how our, the few ideas we had at the start and the, and the lyrics that we had can change so much once you put a melody to it. And that's it for the greatest a cappella. That's it. That was our last group, a cappella. Uh, thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed all the group's performances. If you want to find out more information, go to createschools.ie. And yeah, that's it for us today. This podcast is sponsored by Spreaker.com.